guys, this is Night Race, and I'm doing a different YouTube video for you guys today. And what I'm doing is a class video for you guys today. So we're gonna jump straight in, and this is the best class I've probably used so far in this game. Is the Ball uh, Dash 27? The Ball 27. It's a very well-known gun on this game, and I thought I'd maybe share my class with you because it is working out very well, and I think this could help improve some of your guys' games for you guys who are uh, maybe not used to the Call of Duty texture and you're not quite sure what gun to use, and you've recently picked the game up on Christmas and you're still testing out the guns. Maybe I can just speed up that testing. You can try out my setup. Uh, first things first, you need the Bal 2 7. This is one of the first assault rifles you unlock. The attachments, roughly, um, I would like to use full grip, so you've got nice grip, and a target enhancer can come really in handy, and it really does help with the uh, accuracy. Don't worry, don't look at the stats too much. It is very good with uh, long range, and you can see people just a little bit before they walk through the opening, and you get a bit of an advantage. Uh, secondary, I like to use the altitude which is a good gun uh, when you're in that combat and you've run out bullets in your your primary you just switch out you just pull out your gun and you just spray and pray with the pistol now this is a complete perfect pistol for this match I like to use the latitude but you can always use the original obviously I found this in a uh, strike package so don't worry about that uh, if you unlock the snappy I would prefer not to use the snappy this gun is very inaccurate as it is Maybe getting rid of the accuracy and putting more fire rate could lead to a problem on accuracy. Uh, just my ideas, my thoughts. Perk when we go for low profile so you don't get uh, found by those UAVs tracking Jones and Exos pings. This would be a good idea if you're trying to stay away from the map. Para para parepsils. These are This is good for you people who like to hunt down your kills what i would do for in this situation is it makes your mini map a little bit bigger than everyone else which gives you the advantage to play a bigger role in the map you might want to use this when you're um running around you need to hunt for those kills to earn your kill streaks i preferably love the perapsals perk three scavenger you don't unlock this, this is one of the highest perks um, scavenger, you, when you get to a certain skill level on this game and you're starting to really get those high kill streaks, scavenger is a very good pick. It's been in the game for years. Uh, I would definitely, definitely recommend this. Uh, you normally have 60 mags, I think, in the gun. You know, you have 60 bullets. You know, you want to use this to your advantage and then you have as much bullets as you need. Exo ability, I like to use hover, so like in emergencies, when my enemies are stuck on the roof and I can take the element of surprise, I can just uh, double jump up, pull out my hover, and take them out and then drop back down, without anyone noticing. Um, another one, if maybe you do have a third attachment, I cannot, maybe use blast suppressor, this way no one will be able to see you while you're using your exo abilities. Try to keep your exo abilities to a minimum, as they will show up on the enemy's minimap. Next thing is the exo launcher, I like to use frag grenades, if any of you guys unlock spike drone, which is level 49, very high, I like to use frag grenades, they're not very accurate, but if you guys prefer for that for an extra thing, and then you can, uh, Add the blast suppressor, which would be the oh not the blast suppressor. I'm sorry, the pa parabolic microphone. That would be a good pick, and then you'd have to equip that. Get rid of that. I'd like to use frag, and I'd like to double up that. Uh, I haven't unlocked anything with my pistols. Score streaks. Now this revol revolves around your personal playstyle. I like to help out my enemies sometimes and get the extra assist and a little bit of more XP. This is a big help in the game. UAV's best thing you could pro 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 possibly get, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. UAV, you can always upgrade your UAV by just customise. You can upgrade these, but remember, by upgrading, you're, end you're putting more points on your kill streak. This, you can make it extra assist points, extra time. 
this if you're more if you're more an advanced player maybe you could check out the customizing missile strikes a nice fun thing to have in the map where you can just clean off the side of the map i like to use this because it's not a bit high kill streak and it's nice to use However, the Warbird, the second highest kill streak, when you're on one of your good days, you'll be earning Warbirds. Uh, preferably, if you are a pro at this game, you would preferably want to upgrade this as much as possible. However, I like to keep all my stuff to a minimum, because I'm not exactly pro. This would be my best class, and I'm going to have a look. I have not unlocked anything of the ball. I haven't unlocked. I don't go for camos. That's totally up to you guys. That doesn't affect the gun. The firing range is where you can test out your gun and see if it's for you. Uh, I'd like to wish you all a happy new year, and thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.